Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. As always, I'm your host, Matt. Today we're taking a look, hopefully a short video, on the upcoming uh, Gutenberg updates. And in this video, we're looking at 7.71. One of the major things that's happening is when you go into a page or a post, by default, it will be set to a uh, full screen editing experience, which has a lot of people up in arms. Uh, Rightfully so, because if you're not really into following up with the news and you don't realize you can exit a full screen editing mode, it might just feel a little jarring. But there's some other things along the way here uh, of, of note, which we'll talk about. Uh, but this is default Gutenberg as it stands now, core to WordPress. If you went to full screen mode, this is what it would look like. Um, you know, obviously very, very familiar. Pay, pay close attention to the UI styling and the UI language around full screen uh, Gutenberg, and this is one of the things I've noticed, uh, which is quite interesting because WordPress 5.3 already started to take a, a different tact on design language. A lot of people picked up on the different stylings of buttons uh, and whatnot. And when we go ahead and activate Gutenberg now, <clears throat> if I can spell, I'm gonna go ahead and activate 7.71 at the time of this recording and hit edit on this Gutenberg page. Uh, I've already switched to full or out of full screen mode before, but there's a slight design language change here. There's a very uh, big difference to the icons, the UI, this very contrasty look and feel, which is very apparent with this now big WordPress logo that's in the editing experience. Before, when you went full screen, there was just like this back arrow, uh, but now it's saying, hey, you're in WordPress. This is WordPress that you're in. And <clears throat> years ago, I, I wrote an article about the sassification of WordPress, where WordPress is becoming much more of a SaaS app, even though it's on your own self-hosted server, that the experience is going to be very much uh, trailing what a you know traditional SaaS app would feel like if you were just logging into, say, a Salesforce or MailChimp or something else that sort of leads you on a journey where as you're editing pages, as you're experiencing the software, I mean, we're gonna start to see things that pop up here, like this full page editing. This is, the reason is because the idea is to be immersed in the editing experience for down the road as full site uh, editing comes along and they just need more real estate for help tips, uh, interactive elements, things that really bring people along on an experience. And, and again, this is just my own hypothesis here. Uh, this is the reason why we're going that way. Because in in a traditional app, you're not you're not working in a traditional SaaS app. You're not just experiencing it in the little editor column like we're doing now. Uh, WordPress or maybe even Matt wants you to experience this at a full width. Um, context so that they can introduce more elements for you to play with. Uh, that's my that's my take on it. Anyway, back to the task at hand. The elements have become a little bit more contrasty. They're a lot different, which is interesting that they actually did something like that because I thought the design language step was already sort of uh, a new thing for folks. One thing that went away, uh, which should have irked me at, at first, was the ability to quickly preview uh, the document. And you can always do it down in the permalink, I get it. But there used to be a preview link. And now it's sort of uh, tucked away into this view dropdown. And this is, again, I, I think, uh, reinforcing my theory about needing to have this full width so that we can do f other things in the future with WordPress. And now you can see that we can look at our content in a desktop, tablet, or mobile view, which actually doesn't even look like it really is working correctly because in a mobile view of this post, Gutenberg title should be shrunk down. So maybe all of these elements are just not working yet. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised at that. But if you're looking for that preview externally, just a little quick tip, it's tucked away here. And again, this is all future uh, foundations for full page site building, which brings me to the next feature that's going to be released, which you can see hanging out here uh, in the next uh, territory where there'll be uh, wars between third party developers and WordPress, and that's block patterns. So block patterns is, uh, I'll just go ahead and drop one in right here. There's just four of them right now. So two columns of text, two buttons, a cover, and two images side by side. If we drop that in here, uh, you can see that these are just quick, well, they're calling them block patterns. Plenty of authors, plenty of page builders out there call them sections, uh, templates, uh, I don't, you know, styled blocks, like whatever it is. Um, everyone has a different language for it. 
and WordPress is going for block patterns. So that's something of taking blocks, predefining them and dropping them on to a page. A lot of plugins already do this. This is just the default way, you know, of going about it. I mentioned that this toolbar is the next uh, territory for third party developers to, to be at war with not only themselves, but their users, uh, because the, everyone's gonna start putting their, their quick icons up here. Again, this is the point of going full width, I feel, is so that there can be more elements, more tools available to a user to build on a screen. But it's gonna get dicey. Um, everyone's gonna start to color in their icons. God forbid people start animating icons. It's gonna drive people crazy. And you're gonna just have this whole uh, toolbar riddled uh, with these icons. Hopefully, uh, we can be able to disable those uh, and modify those in the future. Uh, that's what I have for Gutenberg 7.71 coming. Hopefully just a quick video to show you what's happening. Full screen by default, you can always exit it. We go over to the toolbar, exit that full screen mode, but the UI is changing, some of the blocks are changing. So that's all I have for you in this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want more. We'll see you in the next video.